welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantelle. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is my craft room makeover. So I have a room in my house that used to be my daughter's room and she moved out and so I have had that room as a guest room for when she and her husband come to visit. But honestly, they only come a couple times during the year and so all the other time during the year, I use this room as my craft room and so I've decided to make over this room and make it into my craft room slash YouTube studio and so I'm really excited to show you what I did with this room. So if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of DIY projects, a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs. So if you like those types of things, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around a while. And don't forget to hit the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Let's jump in and I'll show you my craft room transformation. So here is the before of my room and all of that stuff on the floor did have a bed on top of it but my husband and daughter got ambitious and moved the bed out of the room before I could take the before video but I wasn't going to ask them to move it back. So here's the room. This is my table where I do my crafts. Right now it's got bedding from the bed on it but you can see that I've got all of these containers that have craft items in them and my closet is stuffed full of craft things and I have some organizers in here so it's kind of half organized but it's just really crammed full it's got just too much stuff in this closet so I want to uh, work on that as you can see underneath my table I have all of these uh, little uh, drawer organizers and some of them are really old and the drawers are really hard to get open but it's just really hard to access all of this stuff. So for my first step I'm going to clear out this room. And instead of moving everything out of the room, I am moving some things just to the center of the room and I will be painting the walls in this room. So I'm just getting everything away from the walls. I also removed the curtains and the hardware so that I can actually adjust these curtains and hang them a little bit higher once I'm finished because they were not hung properly to begin with. And I wanted to show you this ladder. My husband got this four foot ladder for Christmas and it is amazing. I love it. It has a magnet on the top for uh, holding on to your nails and screws so you don't lose those. It has uh, all kinds of little places to put tools or um, to put hardware in it and it's just a really convenient and it also has a place where a quart of paint will fit in that uh, round hole perfectly. So this is a great ladder. I'll put the link in the description box below if you're looking for a ladder. Then I'm going to prep the walls by wiping them down. I'm just getting all of the dust and cobwebs off of the walls. And then I will be filling in um, all of the nail holes and uh, marks on the walls before I paint. And I decided just to paint this room the same color it was just to freshen it up and get rid of all of those scuff marks and I just make it nice and clean. So to bring more storage into the room, I purchased two of these Better Homes and Gardens 12 cube organizers and I ordered these from walmart.com and had them delivered straight to my door. I will put the link to these in the description box below, but they come in this box and uh, all the pieces are um, in this box and all the hardware everything you need and these are really nice sturdy units they're not um, they're really flimsy cheap ones 
And here's a hack for when you are putting together furniture like this and it has a lot of uh, little hardware pieces. I use a muffin tin and I put each type of hardware into uh, each section and then I have them all separated out but they're all together in a tray that's easy to move around as I am putting the furniture together. And I was able to put these together by myself. It would be easier if you had a second person just to help hold the pieces into place as you're aligning them. Uh, but um, you can totally do it yourself and um, it's not a hard project to do. If you're assembling this on carpet, sometimes the carpet can get stuck in between the pieces as you tighten them up. So here's a tip, put a piece of cardboard or something underneath so that your furniture won't get stuck to your carpet. And here are my two 12 cube organizer pieces assembled. I have them together, so I have 24 cubes on this wall for storage. So I got these bins in a six pack from Amazon, and I like these because they have the nice metal handles, and they also have a place to put a label. So I'm going to make some labels that look nice and put on here. And I also got another set of bins that have a pattern on them. These also have the same place for the label and the handles are plastic on these but I think they're going to be pretty sturdy and so I got these both a uh, six pack of them for about twenty dollars and I will put the link for those in the description box below. I was really pleased with these bins. I felt like they were a really good quality. I think they're going to hold up really well and I really like the color and I am, I'm just really pleased with them and now I just have to figure out how to organize them. I like that diagonal pattern but I could also do it this way. I don't know, let me know in the description box below which way you like them. And Cece has decided that this is her favorite spot. It's a good thing for her that for now at least I'm leaving this wicker basket here. So I looked long and hard for a craft table for the center of my room because I still want to be able to put an inflatable bed in that room when my daughter and her husband come, but I wanted to be able to move this craft table or desk out of the way. So I found this craft table, or it's actually called a craft desk. It assembles with no hardware. It's like a puzzle. It just puts together really easily actually and the website says you can do it like in five minutes but I think first time it took me more like 20 minutes although it really took me longer because I put this one section together wrong and then it was stuck and I could not get it apart and I I didn't know what to do and I fought and fought and fought with it but I finally got it apart and was able to put the desk together the right way. Another thing that's really cool about this desk is that you can put it together in three different configurations making it either four feet long, five feet long, or six feet long and I am putting it together so that it is six feet long and I will put the link to this in the description box as well. I ordered it online and again it was delivered straight to my door. And for not having any hardware, this was surprisingly sturdy. So here is my room. It's mostly finished. I am really pleased with the things that I bought to help with organization. I love this desk because I can put my supplies and things on the shelves on the outside and then still have my work surface totally clear in the middle and you can see I fit one of those drawer organizers underneath it was one of the best ones that I had that I use a lot of the items in so I just decided to keep it and my closet is still needing a little bit more organization but it's a lot cleaner there's not all the junk on the floor it's more organized and maybe you can't tell but I really can tell 
These bins are ones that I bought at Dollar Tree and they are a lot flimsier than the ones that I purchased off of Amazon. They work okay, but I'm really happy with the ones I got on Amazon. So I will still be purging some of the things in this closet and making it more organized, but progress has been made. In this corner, I put that little tote basket that I got from Dollar Tree with some magazines in it and I have my little Ikea rolling cart and then like I said I'm keeping that wicker basket that was a wedding gift that we got almost 30 years ago and I put some of these little rugs from Dollar Tree on there for Cece to lay on and so she can look out the window and enjoy the sun I don't really scrapbook a lot anymore but I have a lot of supplies that I store in this scrapbook tote that's on rollers so I kept it and then my hubby got a bracket for my TV and got that hung up on the wall so I really like that I'm still working on organizing the items that I want to put in the cube organizer and I haven't put any labels on the bins yet because I haven't finalized them but really I kind of like the looks of them without labels so if I can keep track of what is where without labeling them then I might not put labels in them but at least I have that option. And I already had some different types of totes and organizers, so I've just incorporated those in along with the bins that I bought. And this faux metal wall decor piece that I made is one of my favorite DIYs, so I put this up on the wall so I could enjoy it. I will put the link to this video in the description box below if you want to see how I made it. Another thing I purchased for my room was this farmhouse TV stand and I'm using it more of like a credenza. I will put the link to it in the description box below but I got this and had to assemble it and it's going to be used as a backdrop for my videos. And then above it I have this shelf I got from Ikea and this is where I keep all of my florals so that they don't get smashed. And that stand is what I use to hold my camera while I'm filming my projects. So one of the things I did in my room is to create this area that could be a backdrop for my intros to my videos. What I didn't plan for was that that shelf up there would cause this shadow back behind here. So I do need to get some different lighting or move that shelf, which I really don't want to do. Uh, so I'll figure that out so that you don't have this shadow behind me in my intros. But all in all, I'm really pleased with my craft room slash studio. And uh, I hope that this gives you some ideas for how you can transform a space to give you more storage or an area for doing your DIY projects or crafts. And again, remember, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.